valuation of Pablo's speech, we're going to welcome Victor Forsoff. Thank you. Dear Toastmasters, don't know that, what should I talk about evaluations? Evaluations in Toastmasters, it should be more motivational rather than evaluation. So evaluate to motivate. But we came here just to listen and to learn, hopefully. That's why we should remember about writing, reading, listening and speaking. So all four abilities should be together in your speech. That's why it was about speech of Pavel. I delighted with his speech, which was probably immediately like impromptu speech done here and prepared in a few minutes. It, this speech was a real conviction of that he is right, that he is devoted to learn English, and he wanted to persuade us to do this. That's why I delighted to listen that he explained us his wonderful and interesting teaching philosophy, self-teaching philosophy. Probably every one of us should have this one. And during his speech, he did it appropriately in, in use four parts. Introduction, body and conclusion. Probably introduction was rather small because a legend of 2000 words. I still didn't understand probably the idea that you can learn 2000 words in a short period of time, but later you try to explain it. And your, your structure to, to divide, was divided in four parts. You explain about uh, about a card system, discipline, and imagination. Well, card system, you showed it pretty well, and it was actually your excellent visual aid. But I noticed that your card was stripped on altogether by <laughs> sticky band. I didn't understand how you can use it, because you cannot open it every day. Maybe you just can open it and show us what's inside. Uh, uh, otherwise, this is like a dictionary. You can carry with yourself tiny dictionary, and you can check it in a book sometimes. Or you will forget about it when you will learn enough vocabulary. <coughs> Later, you said about imagination. Wonderful idea, but still you didn't explain it properly. Imagination. What does it mean? It's a wide, absolutely wide term, wide definition. What kind of definition you can give us? Few examples, because one of the greatest ideas in English learning, this is kind of a method of mnemonics. You can create a story about world. Like in Japanese language, you should create a story about geography, about sign. So this, later you will just make a link between word and this meaning immediately. So, or sometimes here you can listen. Idiom like actually you here you felt like a fish in a water so wonderfully uh, excellent so everyone probably uh, like a fish in a water and that's why my business is not a monkey business just to believe it but to give you just a little bit more creativity but at least I noticed that for instance you could add a little bit more gestures in your uh, presentation that's why but I like that you didn't use notes. And what's about the voice? I can say that you could add a little bit more voice briefing in your presentation. Don't worry about it. Your voice can be louder or just more quiet. <coughs> this is very interesting. Otherwise, people are going to sleep sometimes. That's why you can wake up there <coughs> and say, Come on, wake up, because I'm speaking. There. And also, I noticed that you said you cannot be speaking better in foreign language rather than your native language. I do not believe this, because I know a real living example. One friend of mine, he's a computer man, he actually knows two languages, French and English, and he cannot speak Ukrainian and Russian. <laughs> <coughs> well, but even he is making verses in English in, and in French, and he already uh, has been graduated and got his PhD in biology in Netherlands. But he, was, he escaped from Ukraine because people said, you are not good PhD student here in Ukraine. You are not talkative in your talk. It's just strange words. You cannot explain your subject. But in Netherlands, he was excellent in French and in English and speaking pretty well. Well, and finally, I wanted to add that 
uh, after imagination, maybe you should add this wonderful idea as urgent desire. Why do you need to speak and learn English? Urgent desire, something inside of you should be boiling rather than just sleeping. That's why you should find destination place where you should go through the time and when you reach this, maybe you will be happy short time and later you should go to another destination place. And also, don't forget about deadline, like two minutes for my speech. Thank you very much for your attention. Wow. <laughs>